Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Mug. My name is Leanne. There's my horn. Welcome. Let's get ready. It's a normal day. We got to go to work. But I want to try a couple of new products that I got from Kimchi Chic. There's a fuzzy in the air. Got it. And I got a palette in my BoxyCharm that I want to try from Dominique Cosmetics. So let's just... Uh, Let's get ready together and hang out and talk about nothing and makeup, whatever. That's the, I keep putting her head on backwards. That's the Tony Moly Pocket Bunny Moist Mist. Because I like spraying stuff on my face before I get ready. And, ooh, hold on. We're going to do, I don't normally spray on fragrance on my channel. But there's some new ones. I'm going to smell this while I get ready. Bath & Body Works fragrance mists don't last super long in general. Not on me, not on anyone. This is the Candied Violet Sorbet. Hello. The Candied Violet Sorbet. And I said it was Givenchy. It's not. It's Guerlain. It's the Meteorites. It smells like Meteorites, which I love that smell so much. And so I'm happy that it smells like Meteorites. It's not... My husband, Mr. Mo won't use it yesterday because the, the lotion is down by my desk. He used it. He said it, it's, he thought it would be sweeter than it was. Um, but he said it wasn't, he didn't, he didn't mind. He just puts on random lotions. So I told him if he wanted sweeter, try the strawberry soda, which is also new. At Bath and Body Works, it is lovely. I've put the cherry limeade in my bathroom so that when I get out of the shower, I use that one because I am obsessed with that scent. Like I, I would smell like that every morning. So love that. That is the Basic Beauty uh, Smooth and Blur Primer. I don't think that it's smooth. I don't think that it blurs. It might smooth some, but it's it's an interesting texture. It it see it appears like because it's like a clear gel. It appears that it might be something like a silicone primer but it's not it's not silicone -y at all and then the other thing i'm going to do is i depotted the revlon photo ready photo finish photo ready whatever it's called the that is the pore filling primer from revlon the pink one my pump stopped pumping so mr mug won't destroyed it and i was able to scrape out all the goods and put it into a container from Shop Miss A so that I could use it. Because I love it right in the area where I have, you know, noticeable pores, which is around my nose. Which a lot of us do. And then I'm going to go AOA Studio Glow Baby High Liquid Highlighter in Morning Glow. And this is the messiest packaging in the world. But this is a beautiful product. It is so nice. And uh, it's a dollar. So, yeah, get you some, baby. Um, this is kind of a, it's a, this one's a champagne. Slightly rosy, but mostly just a champagne. They have other shades um, of this as well. And it goes even darker. So, if you would like to try the little Tin Man look, there you go. AOA Studio Glow Baby. That's a great product. But I just, I think the opening for the product is too uh, wide. It's a, a wider spout mouth thing and um it it just it makes it messy i don't know i wish it was a little bit more pointed and then i think it would do much better all right let's get okay i do hang on hang, i'm getting myself a lot of order here i do want to try the new kimchi chic undercover ho uh the what's my doodle what is it called? The concealer palette. It's a color correcting palette because I want to, I just, I want to see how it works and I want to do like, I want to do under eye here and I know that to counteract, you know, some blue, you, you want like a peachy color and this one 
doesn't necessarily have a peachy color, but it's got yellow and orange. So I think what I'm gonna do is mix the yellow with a little bit of orange. And I'm just gonna treat this, it's my palette, I do what I want. Um, like a mixing palette, because I wanna see how it does. They are very pigmented. I had a hard time. You can kind of see the a little. Oh, you can't really see it on camera. I had a hard time getting it off my hand last night. Uh, the darker shades. So that's a good sign. Okay, this is the yellow and some orange. Okay. We're going to, you know, we just exper we experimenting. We experimenting. Okay. Right? I'm not doing too much because I'll uh, skirt. Now, if I were to color correct redness on my face, I have to put green everywhere, like everywhere. But I might be able to, I'm gonna try just a little teeny tiny spot. Let's try a little teeny tiny spot. Hello, green, you coming? You coming green? not bad. That's not bad at all, y'all. Okay. Okay. It's really thin. It's not, and I just used like a, I don't know, kind of a fluffy eyeshadow brush kind of thing to get it on. It's really thin. So not thick at all. You could do, you could definitely do it with your fingers. I just wanted to put it on with the brush because I knew I was going to mix it. Plus, it stained my hand last night. And so, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to stain my fingers before I go to work. But that's nice. Okay. So excited. All right. Now, let's do some um, for foundation today. This is disgusting. Um, this is my, it's gross. This is my Leo Le Triple the Solution BB Cream. This product is apparently no longer available in the world. But I've almost used it up. And it's still working great for me. So I'm gonna keep using it and I'm, I'm making a concerted effort to use her up because it is, hi Tiny, welcome. Um, it's old, so it's, it's I think it's the, the oldest foundation product that I have in my room here and so I'd like to use her up, um, but it's still great. It, it looks super dark when I put it on uh, it's it's a one color BB cream. Like it's just the color of the BB cream. This is back in the day when B, BB creams were actually new onto the, into the world. And not a lot of folks in Western world were using them. And this one was sold out of Texas, I think. Leo Welly had a distribution place. And anyway, I got... Uh, I got this way back in the day, and it is a great product. If you want a modern day one that's available, the Misha BB Cream is magnificent. Um, 21 is uh, my color. I can make 23 or 13 work. 13 is super pale. 23 is a, um, darker, but, um, but it's 21 is the, the best shade for me. This is dark, but you, you will see that it, it works just fine with, um, you know, bronzer and all that on your face. Okay, with that color correction, it does not look odd underneath my eyes, meaning that it doesn't look like I put yellow or orange under there. It just looks like normal. So I'm gonna put just a smidge 
Do I want any concealer or do I want to just wear that? I don't know. That's pretty amazing. Tomorrow I might try a little bit of green around my nose. But we'll see. We shall see. That's Lily Welly. I'm hoping to use her up pretty soon. It's It's been too long that I've had her. But um, I like her a lot. She's, she's good. Okay, let me put a little. Can I put just a little bit of concealer? Like not much. Like just a little bit. And then I pick like the most pigmented concealer that I own. This is the Makeup Revolution. And I didn't do much. I just did very little. And you do, I do find that using my fingers with this one is the best way to go. Um, this, let me tell you the name of the dang thing. Um, it is the Conceal and Fix. This is the shade Light Beige. I also have it in pink. The ultimate coverage concealer. It's got salicylic acid in it. Um, have not noticed that that's made any difference at all because I typically only use it underneath my eyes. I don't typically use concealer on blemishes. Um, I'm one of those people that I'm okay with my blemishes like being blemishes. Some people um, cover them up and some people don't mind that they have them and so they just they're there. They get covered by you know foundation but I don't make a concerted effort to um, cover any blemishes that I have. So that's just, it's just personal preference. Do you baby? Do you sugar? Okay. This is the Ulta nude eyeshadow primer that is depotted into a little tiny tub because it wouldn't come out of the tube. Okay. There's that. Okay, I'm I'm feeling this one curl just wants to just go that way. That was good. I think that's a nice base that we got going on there. Do I want Okay. I was deciding whether or not I wanted any like cream bronzer, and I think I do. Let's use the Kiko Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contour. This came off of the the Zon because somebody told me to buy it from this channel. Thank you very much. Y'all give great recommendations of things I don't know that I ever would have either heard of or known of, but y'all do great. This was uh, a a good a good purchase. This is in the shade 201. Uh, I think on the on the description of it, it had like a name. Oh, apparently we're having something delivered that beeps when it backs up. There we go. I think Mr. Mugwomp is uh, converting a like a chest freezer like a deep freezer um to be a some sort of something when he brews his beer i don't you know he tells me y'all and i i listen and love him because he's so gorgeous i just watch his mouth work but i don't i don't know what he's talking about so anyway he probably explained it to me so honey if you're watching this yes it's fascinating to tell me all about the beer but i just can't i don't know what he said i really don't I'm sorry, sugar. Um, aren't pet names funny? I call him all sorts of things. Like nickname or whatever, or pet name. And I'm sure if people overheard me, like, you know, out in the world, me calling him some of these things, they would die. But he answers to it, so I'm okay with it. That is the Creme Shop little powder. This is Sephora Micro Smooth in porcelain. Yes, this is a lot of makeup because I like it. But this is a BB cream that like obviously has coverage. So there are many BB creams in the world that aren't um, really coverage driven this one is and i love it okay i did do i have a new bronzer i don't i did pull the color pop bronzer y'all this thing this is the super shock cheek it's a matte bronzer in bon voyage and she's a beautiful color like it's light but it takes heaven and earth to get her on my face like I have to 
like the brush itself, I have to get a really small brush and I have to like work it. So even though, and I, it, it, you think, okay, is this a cream? Is it a powder? It behaves like a, a light powder, like a light, it doesn't disturb anything underneath, even though I'm like going over it and over and over it to get more color off. But this is a, it's a natural color for me because it's so light. It looks really good. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of liking it because it's so easy to use. I can't really mess it up. And I don't normally do my nose, but why not? Let's do our turkey, turkey waddle. That's what it's called. Okay. So there's that. And then for blush, we have four to choose for. Actually, we have 12 to choose from because each one of these is a, it's a, a trio of blushes from Kimchi Chic. I, um, I went over, over, I re <laughs> swatched all of them on my channel last night. So if you haven't seen that, please go take a look. Um, I'm going to choose a color today just randomly. Um, let's, let's, this is number three. This is Bonita Senorita. And I'm going to brush off the powder I have all over me. And let's do the, we're going to do the, this one here, the pinkier one. And I know these bad boys are going to be pigmented because Kim, she does it that way. So I'm going to tap my brush off and I still got, I still got a blushy cheek, but that's okay. It can be a blushy kind of day. Gosh, that's pretty. I have our individual Get Thaler blushes. Um, and I love them all. There's not a one I don't love. There's some I have to be careful with because they are too pigmented over my fair face, but I still wear them because they're gorgeous. But these are all, these are beautiful too. Golly. So there's the, the pinkier color in Bonita Senorita. That is gorgeous. That's so pretty. Ooh, itching. You know, it's going to be a good day. All right, let's use our AOA Studio Broken Highlighter that we still love. Uh, this is the Velour Highlighter in Sometimes. And it's like a putty. I have broken the lid off forever ago um, when I was traveling. So probably two years ago. And it hasn't dried out. Like I just set the lid on top and it's still fine. I can't believe how like good this is. Even if the packaging is broken. The packaging is inexpensive. It's a dollar product. I, but it, it's not the packaging's fault. It's mine. I snapped the lid. So if, but I mean, I have used and abused, uh, this product. It is a champagne color. It does a beautiful, it, it totally blends into the skin. You cannot see it at all. It is undetectable, but it is just pure shine and gorgeousness. Oh, I am itching so bad right there. You know, it's gonna be a good day. Okay. Let's do brows. Bruce. I finally finished my... Milk Makeup Fiber Brow Gel, Kush Fiber Brow Gel in Dutch. I finally finished the one that I had started with. Now I have backups because I was smart and bought them in the boxy pop-up. I think they were three or four dollars a piece for that brow gel. And I love that thing. It's my favorite. So I finally used that up and that's now in my empties bag back there. I got a couple other ones that are sitting up here that I, I don't know which one I want to like focus on. Usually I try to have a product if I'm not trying a new one um, to just ha you know, to be the one that I use if I don't, you know, I don't have like a preference or I'm not trying out a new product that I just grab so that I can, I am, it's like a, it's like a, a lazy way of panning because I don't want to. It's, I have in the past used, just used whatever and all every day pulled out of the, you know, the drawer that all of it lives in and I just pulled one. You, I will never pan a product that way. I will never get through anything if I do that. So I, I try to use a thing if I, you know, if I have one that I'm using up. This is the Believe Beauty. Uh, eyebrow styling gel. This is in dark brown and that is a nice shade. Okay, so there's that. Let us spray the face. 
This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Glow. Fix and Go, excuse me. And it smells okay. Um, my, It's a better smell. The e.l.f. Aloe spray is a better smell to me. So, oh, we're almost out of that one. Okay. Whew. That's a nice face. That's a nice base of face. Very glowy. Really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, this is the eyeshadow palette that I got in my BoxyCharm Premium, I think. She came a little like, uh, there's product or whatever. I didn't clean it up. I just left it. Um, it had a acetate or whatever, and it was in a box, but it, I don't think that it actually came beat up. I think we just had a little bit of the gray get loose, and so it's now kind of everywhere, but I'll clean it up. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Transition Palette. How interesting. It is, uh, this is a heavy product. There is a mirror in the lid. Um, it is made in the USA, assembled in the Dominican Republic, and it, they're all matte. They're, uh, th it, and I think this is not a bad thing. So I have been trying a new eyeshadow palette every day uh, this year. And we are, it, if you're watching this at a later time, this is in June. And the, the companion palette that I chose this year is, is the Viseart Neutral Matte Palette. So they're all matte. And so that if I needed a black for liner or I needed a transition shade, probably the shade I've used the most is this cream shade to just either set the lid or blend out above. And so it stayed on my vanity the whole year in case I needed a shadow like that. This is another one of those types of uh, workhorses that I would use. Now, if you are an all matte lover, this would be a perfect palette to, uh, to just have to use because it's 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 got a a wide variety um i do like dominique cosmetics um formula i've used a couple of her products a couple of her eyeshadow palettes before and i get along with her formula but uh i just think the the concept of an all matte um from light to dark muted so it's not like a rainbow you know brights or whatever Probably the brightest shade is that it, it's coming off probably brighter on camera, but it is a it's a mustard and that's a beautiful beautiful mustard um, yellow. It's gorgeous, grungy, and I love that. So I figured I'd just do a quick eye, and then I've got a single that I'll probably use. And given what I'm wearing is is kind of neutral, um, I think I want to do just a little bit of a maybe a rosier eye. Um, so I'm gonna use some of the rosy shades, uh, rosy browns. And, uh, and just do a quick, just a quick eye. Um, not too much because I am about to go to work and I'm on camera for almost all of the day. So I don't want to look, you know, too crazy. Try to be work appropriate. That I'm going very light with the, the rosy shade called Sweet and Nope, soft and sweet. Just on a fluffy brush. Okay. And then let's do, I did a green, I did a matte green eye yesterday with the ColourPop, um, the Child Palette, the Mandalorian Palette. Um, and I don't know that I even took a picture of it. It's been crazy, crazy. I think I'll take the shade Blushing, which is a shade darker than that rosy shade. And I'm just going to put that the outer half of my lid. I'm going to place the shade first, and then I will blend. Okay. Original brush. Blending into my crease with that darker shade. Yeah. Okay. 
just used this shade and this shade and that's it that's pretty okay let me get i might line with that tube so hold on one second but i want to get my lid shade on and i'm just going to use a single that is uh like one of the best one of the best eyeshadows i've ever used this is Stila's kitten it's just a single of Stila's kitten and it was given to me by a lovely subscriber um who sent me uh a box of amazing things and this was in it and I cannot tell you how often I have grabbed for this just just this single because it is the perfect lid shade for me it is so beautiful it's just stunning it lasts all day it is so impactful it is so reflective I love it a lot I bring my shiny shades above my crease because I like the way that that looks you do you, honey. That is so gorgeous. It's be it's just absolutely beautiful. It just it's gorgeous. Steel is kitten. Highly recommend if you're gonna get any single shade in the world that you're like this is my lid shade. There are several ColourPop Super Shocks that are as reflective and as beautiful. The problem with those is that they dry out fairly quickly. This is this is a powder shadow, so it's not going to, and it will you will. You will love it, just believe. Okay, I'm gonna take the uh, the, sa the shade Chai, which is one step darker and rosier down there, and uh, we're just going to use an eyeshadow angled brush, little, it, this is actually technically a brow brush, but a little angled brush, and just push that right up on the upper lash line. Just line that real quick. I love using shadow as a liner. It's very forgiving. It's super easy. And it looks softer than uh, than like a liquid liner or a gel liner. Okay, there's that. Easy peasy. I actually really recommend this. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like it in that it's all, I think it's gorgeous. She did a great job selecting the shades. I, I like I like how this, uh, the, the range is. It's gorgeous. It is so pretty. All right, let's lash and mascara while I contemplate life. I'm gonna use, let's use my Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. It's here. It's an hourglass, like bristly. It's a big old wand. Even on the deluxe sample size, it's a big old wand. But because of that, it covers almost all my lashes in one go, which is nice. I'll just give them a couple quick coats here. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Lips. I think I'm going to use my Jordana Twist and Shine. This is the Moisturizing Balm Stain in Nude Chic. Probably one of my most favorite nudes. It was super inexpensive at the drugstore when the Revlon ones came out. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I love it so much. I think it looks really, really good. 
it's just, it's just cheap as chips. It's so good. There she is. Um, I love it. I'm super impressed with the, with the under eyes. I'm super impressed with, uh, the Kimchi Chic Undercover Ho <laughs> Concealer Palette. Uh, that, that's gorgeous. And, of course, the blush did amazing, too. I am super glowy today, kids. Yes! I hope you enjoyed it. I did. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.